r slash ask reddit, what's something you saw coming miles away that a lot of people didn't? The October 2018 stock market crash. Not me, but someone near me. I was driving out to my college one morning, and came up to a light. I had to turn left, but there was no arrow, so I had to yield to the other person and wait for them to go first when the light turned green. Except, they weren't going. I waited a few seconds, then waved them through. I looked at the driver and it was this really peaceful looking old lady with a smug ass look on her face. Like, the perfect, I've been in this world way longer than you. Grandma type. She just nodded up to me and put up a palm as though to say, wait, and at that moment a massive truck came barreling through the intersection. I guess its brakes malfunctioned, but that smug grandma saved my ducking life. If this was posted on one of those creepiest ass critic questions you would have looked up the license plate so you could go and thank the old lady only to find out she died 20 years ago in a collision with a truck at that exact spot. And now she wants payment. Last night when I was leaving a bar with some friends there was a lady stumbling around in a parking lot pretty aimlessly. One friend asked what's that lady doing? I replied that she was looking for a spot to pee. Three minutes later that lady squats down and takes a pee. I called it. My dog does that too. The taxi industry collapsing. At least in Australia, they had been consistently offering a terrible service for many years. Ripping off customers and exploiting every possible loophole and as soon as a competitor came along Uber they all threw their hands in the air like they were the victims. It was always going to happen. Not everyone thought so but I saw it happening many years ago. In Germany the taxi companies got together and got Uber banned. In Brazil taxi drivers got together and beat the shit out of some Uber drivers for a while. We had a leaking high pressure airline at the factory I work at production environment so everything is duck all compared to parts coming out we went out at night and patched it next morning they said that we needed to dig it up and have all the new line laid out next to it so we can swap it over lunch i told him there was no ducking way because i needed to get a contractor out to scan underground for other condit disclaimer we knew for a fact there was no gas or electric lines where we dug well while digging in the first hour the backhoe broke the line in half called it then we broke a water line called it then a 14 inches sewer line called it then internet cable called it then factory communication line called it just finished that job with over 200 hours of holiday overtime that'll teach him now to get communication contractors out on a holiday weekend broke five different kinds of lines but no one thought to stop after one or two we already broke two there can't possibly be more no man's sky being a complete turd on delivery yet yeah, basically seemed too good to be true when they did the announcement i said something on skype like that's unbelievable no i really mean i do not believe for a moment the game will be that cool twinkies coming back after hostess went bankrupt and stopped production people started freaking out and saying it was the end of twinkies but anyone who stopped to think for 5 seconds knew the brand would be sold off to another company who would take over. Sure enough, they returned to stores a few months later. Tallahassee never thought they were going anywhere. He just had to find them. Company I used to work for placed the biggest idiot in management as the new CEO. Upon hearing the news I said that the company would be bankrupt in 4 years. It was actually bankrupt in 3 years and a few months. So I missed it by little. My two first jobs going out of business. My last day working at a video rental store circa 2004. I said, we're either going to be replaced by the internet or machines. I was wrong because it turned out to be both. That is, Redbox and Netflix streaming. But I knew our brick and mortar days were done. Good riddance. Borders books. As the holiday season was approaching and we were setting up the store for Christmas and Black Friday, one of the cash registers broke down. No big deal. Normally we call corporate and someone drives out from Los Angeles the same day with a new machine because it's in corporate's interest that we be able to efficiently take money from people who are trying to give it to us. Corporate refused. That's when I knew we would be out of business after the holiday season. Sure enough. Interesting way of predicting Borders demise. I'm still quite heartbroken over that loss. The affair of General Petralius and Paula Broadwell. When she released her book, 
Jon Stewart at her as a guest on The Daily Show. I happened to get tickets to that show. The way she talked about him and how she tried so hard to describe their platonic, professional relationship. I knew. Like a douche. I turned to my friends and said. She got that D. Later that year. Shit hit the fan. So. This won't be too well known to people who don't work in the IT industry, but I actually called the Lenovo Superfish scandal the moment I saw it on a computer. Superfish was a program, a piece of malware, that was pre-installed on a lot of Lenovo computers a few years ago. It was collecting user data and forwarding that data to a third party. The moment I saw it listed in the programs on a new Lenovo that I was setting up for a client, I had my suspicions. When I was installing their AV, it ran a scan, as a sort of baseline thing, and it flagged Superfish almost immediately as being a potential threat, so I removed it, a D finished setting it up, I removed Superfish from every computer I saw it on, I do admit it took me a bit to realize it was only on Lenovus, and recommended to my co-workers to do the same, a couple weeks after the first time we saw it, news came out that it was malware and should be removed immediately. It's one of the only times I ever got to say I told you so to my co-workers, because I was the least experienced there, and I felt pretty proud of myself for having that foresight. It was really frustrating to deal with the people that would come in after the news broke accusing us of allowing this to happen. How could you sell me a computer that has viruses on it? Well, for those who came to us, the service department, we didn't. We removed it. Secondly, why would anyone ever suspect a manufacturer of allowing malware to be preloaded onto their machines? My co-workers thought I was nuts for thinking that, and the only reason they complied with my suggestion was because it did no harm to remove it. So, yeah, I called Superfish, and I think I deserve a cookie for my minute contribution. Cookie. The housing crisis. I didn't know the extent of what would happen and how deep it went but when people making 30k a year were buying 7 or 8 houses at a time to flip them within a couple months I knew something had to give. I'll never forget this guy in a grocery store talking excitedly about how the housing boom would never stop and wondering how people could be so naive. I did an internship with WF Subprime Home Mortgage in 2006 and even as an idiot 22 year old I could see that giving mortgages to people who I wouldn't trust to pay me back for lunch would bite us in the ass. 3D TV fad going away. I tried it out at my friend's place and while it was killer cool, it felt gimmicky like something to try but not use regularly. Yep, yeah, 3D is a flop. But I read somewhere that the reason why entertainment companies produced 3D movies was to force theaters to upgrade their system to digital. That way they did not have to pay 8k for the roles anymore as everything became digital. Years ago a friend got a puppy and I came over to see her one day. While we were in the living room the puppy was wandering around sniffing about and my immediate thought was it's sniffing for a shit spot. I tell my friend this and she's like nah, he's just curious about the house. He's exploring. I tell her I'm absolutely sure he's going to shit and she'd better take him to the corner of the kitchen that's got a load of newspaper on the floor. But again she's like oh, it's fine. Not 5 seconds after she ignores me the puppy takes a huge shit that was almost half its size on the carpet. She's freaking out and runs to grab it and take it outside. But the damage is done. I was pretty impressed by the size of that crap though. What the duck did it eat? Star Wars Battle from 2015 being a hollow shell of a game that was nothing like its predecessors. Just like the simulations. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The Iceland travel boom. Next is the Greenland travel boom. From 10 tourists to 100. I so regret not going there like 7 years ago. Even just 7 years ago it wasn't this level of bombed with tourists. That Mars One initiative has no future and is possibly a scam. Funding what needs to be an international multi-billion space venture with advertising sales on a reality show. Get the F out of here. Even as a person who doesn't know much about this kind of stuff the first time I saw their timetable I knew there was no ducking way. You plan on essentially inventing, testing, and putting into use concept systems that have never even been attempted in like 10 years. On a trip where the stakes are it works perfectly or everyone dies, not going to happen. Superman vs Batman getting crucified by the critics. 
Suicide Squad and the new Fantastic Four movie too. Everything in those trailers looked like a gigantic mess. And, surprise surprise, that's what both movies were. My wife and I predicted the 2008 housing bubble. We sold an investment property that we believed had became overvalued for the area and used the proceeds to buy two new properties. A year later that property we sold was in foreclosure. Did the same with my grandmother's house. It was an absolute trash heap and required tens of thousands in repairs. We figured the market was never going to be better and sold it as is for over $100,000. That was in early 2007. By the time the purchaser finished repairs and resold it, the local market was in the toilet. I think they resold for $110,000 or something. It was excellent timing. Minecraft being one of the most popular video games of all time. When did you realize it was gonna be a multi-million dollar game? I remember I was in one of my classes in high school when a friend told me about this new game called Minecraft. It wasn't blocked by the school. So I went on and started playing it. This was still when the game was in early alpha. I played it for the next hour. As soon as class was over, I leaned back in my chair and thought this game is going to make ducking millions. I was right. Brexit. The stay campaign was so disorganized in late to the game. Then they campaigned in a fashion that implied the UK would be fine out of the union but better if they stayed. Nobody seemed eager to jog people's memory of why the UK joined in the first place. Now the nation of shopkeepers have no market. The continental system is going to work. Chris Evans popularity. When not another teen movie came out and he walked on screen with cherries and whipped cream on his nipples and a banana in his butt. I knew this dude would be a huge success down the road. Way to be, Cap. In 2020, everything will be futuristic because every cyberpunk Fi novel plot starts in 2020s. I predict tomorrow will be the future. My friends divorce. They had sex. Pastor found out and got angry. They decided to get married, at 18. Everyone going on how they would be Tojava. I kept my mouth shut the whole time but, come on people. As a Christian. It's extremely creepy to me how involved the church gets in people's sex lives. The backlash against Bill Nye. He used to guest host Neil deGrasse Tyson's podcast and he would use the same condescending attitude that he does in his Netflix show. Really turned me off to him. Tyson and Bill are trying to follow in the footsteps of Carl Sagan. Their mistake is in their delivery. Sagan always explained things as if he was discovering something for the first time and in doing so invited you to join him in the wonder and curiosity of it all. Tyson and Bill explain things as if you're an adversarial plebe who needs it explained to you and they are the benevolent scientists there to enlighten you. Granted, the political climate of today and Sagan's day are very different and I believe that has an effect on this. I remember vividly during the 9-11 attacks my dad saying the awful thing is everyone around there is ducked because of the amount of asbestos that's probably in those buildings he is a structural engineer. Now there are concerns that the number of deaths due to asbestos dust inhalation may be greater than the number of people initially killed. I knew the Duggars would eventually have some nasty scandals come out. You cannot tell me that a family of just over 20 people are all going to be great. Someone is bound to be a piece of shit. I think that it will probably come out that the older married siblings didn't actually wait until marriage. Uber. When smartphones became a thing and Apple was doing the there's an app for that. Commercials. I was traveling a lot for work. And I thought that it would be awesome if someone could come up with an app to call a cab to your location. Even talked about it with my friends and wrote up plans. Thought about integration GPS so you would always know how much the ride was going to cost. Which was always a pain in the ass in traditional cabs if you were on a budget. Then I just kind of forgot about it until Uber showed up and I was like damn. That could have been mine. Streaming entertainment video. This was back in the mid 90s. I didn't see any reason why people had to watch cable when video and entertainment could just as well be delivered over the internet. Unfortunately there's not a whole lot, as 15 year old, that I could do to get in front of that wave. I became a little discouraged later when the first toe in that pool was Circuit City's shitty DIVX concept. The Steambox being a huge failure, and Valve not being a developer of video games anymore. 
housing bubble in 2006. How many shows on TLC were flipping houses and doubling their money? If it was that easy why aren't we all doing it? Yeah I'm not selling out modest house even though the value jumped 30% and then going to get a bigger house with an interest only load from Quicken. Who does this shit? Fast forward 2009. Oh they did. And there goes the stock market. Jeff and Sally are looking for a house to flip. Jeff is a part time pizza delivery boy and Sally is a homemaker. Their budget is 800,000 for the property and 400,000 for the materials and labor. I went to college for mining engineering. When I was doing interviews for internships, one of the companies I interviewed with was Peabody Energy. Now, at this time Peabody was the largest coal company in the world and was one of those annoying companies that thought they were so awesome that they basically wanted you to sit there and beg them to hire you. Anyways during my interview they asked what I saw as the biggest challenge to Peabody Energy. I told them that since they only mined coal and were not diversified into other minerals like other large mining companies, if something happened to the coal market it would be hard for the company to survive it. The smug a-hole doing the interview acted like that was the dumbest thing he had ever heard, and told me their focus on coal is what made the company strong. Five years later the coal market falls apart, Peabody goes bankrupt, and their stock BTU becomes so worthless that they kicked it off the New York Stock Exchange. Well this isn't a specific thing but a class of things. I'm consistently befuddled as to why people don't realize that someone who has lied to them once will likely lie to them again. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru